This is part of a seven part video series that talks about different capsule wardrobe essentials and what they look like for each of the nine most common personal style types. If you've heard about a capsule wardrobe and it's something maybe you've tried before, maybe it didn't work for you, or you're trying to build one now, but you're not exactly sure how to do it or what to do, this video I think will be really helpful because while I'm a huge advocate of a capsule wardrobe for making your life much easier and more effortless and allowing you to put multiple outfits together that you love and feel great in is super valuable, not only in figuring out your capsule wardrobe essentials, but also in figuring out what you actually like, the pieces you'll wear versus the pieces that you'll buy and will just sit in your closet. So today's video focuses on the capsule essential, the jean. So what does the denim jean look like across the nine different style types and are you someone that has had trouble finding your perfect jean and you think you should have a certain style of jean because that's what's on trend or you think you should have a certain style of jean because that's what works for your body shape or you're not even sure well I'm here to hopefully help you figure that out in this video so I'm going to go through a bunch of different looks styled by celebrities that fit into these different style types and what makes each of these looks fit into a certain personal style. So in this first look, we have Gwyneth Paltrow, and I have put this look in a minimal style. Now, her style in general feels like a minimal style type. It's very undone, it's effortless. The fabric choices are cottons and soft fabrics like linens, it's relaxed. There's not a lot of stiffness or things buttoned up, but it does also look put together effortlessly and easily. So this first look here she's wearing, her jean of choice is this dark blue skinny jean. We'll also see the same style of jean in a preppy style type. And while I think it's really helpful to have a medium to dark blue wash, no matter what your style is, because that is the most versatile pair of jeans, finding the silhouette that is right for you is what's gonna be key. So here you see she's wearing, it's just a very casual, it looks like a cotton soft t-shirt. It's not too fitted, it's not too oversized. It kind of just looks relaxed. She has done a little tuck in the front and then it looks like she just has a soft cardigan on top. Just very effortless and easy. The sleeves are pushed up. There's not too much effort that goes into this look but it all looks put together still. And then she just has a very simple pair of white trainers on to complete this look. So with the minimal style, you'll see there's not too much going on. There's not, there's usually not belts, there's not embellishments, there's not big jewelry, there's not a lot of colors. It's just very simple and effortless yet put together. A big thing about finding your capsule pieces and basing it on what your style is, you wanna look at things like the fabric choices. Different style types will enjoy different fabrics. Some fabrics that are stiffer or more relaxed like we just saw. Maybe some fabrics that feel more like a different time period like velvet or corduroy, which we'll see in vintage style types or more like leather, like we'll see in an edgy style type. But there's these subtle differences that make pieces feel authentic to each type. So here in this next look, we have Kendall Jenner. And I have put this look in the edgy style, although definitely there's also elements of a trendy style type. So I want to just kind of walk you through it. So the jeans here, they're a light blue wash, which the choice of wash can definitely go across different style types. And sometimes we'll even see an edgy style type would wear, wear more of a coated black denim jean or just a black jean. But here I feel like they, the jeans are distressed, they're ripped, but it's intentional. And that's, for me, that's what makes these jeans feel edgy. And then if you put the whole look together the way she styled it, so she's wearing it with a pair of black, sleek, edgy ankle boots. And then she has this cropped black leather moto jacket. Now that was one of the reasons that I thought maybe it could fall into more of the trendy because it's cropped. And if you're someone that follows the trends, you know that a cropped leather jacket or cropped in general is something that's definitely been on trend for a while now. But I still feel like the moto jacket and the black leather definitely feels more of an edgy style. And then she is also wearing it with this Gucci black belt. So again, that Gucci logo could definitely fall more into a trend style type, but it's the way she put this whole look together that made me feel like it's predominantly an edgy style look. And here in this next look, we have Alexa Chung. And to me, this feels like a very vintage inspired outfit. And you'll see here the wash of the jean. Again, it's that medium to dark blue wash, which like I mentioned earlier in the video, I do think that that's a great wash for women to have. If you're gonna have one pair of jeans, I recommend the medium to dark blue wash 
because again, that is the most versatile. They can go from casual to dressy easily. But the silhouette of this jean, so they're a cropped flare, which is more of a vintage style. It's definitely something that even though we do see it now as well, there's a lot of different jean styles that are technically modern, but this particular jean definitely feels like it could also be from the 70s. And then again, look at the whole way she has styled this look. So while her boots are, they're just a very simple black leather ankle boot that could, could work with an edgy style that could also work with the classic style, but because she paired them with this style of jeans, and then she has a navy pea coat, which if you watch the earlier episode in this series where I focused on coats, you'll see that a navy pea coat can definitely fall into a vintage style, that style of a coat. And then underneath that pattern and those colors feel like they're from the 70s. And then she's kind of finished this whole look by tying this little scarf around her neck. And it's again, the way she styled this scarf. So it's not double wrapped, it's not loose, it's not effortless. It's very intentional. She has a little tie to the side. It's a shorter scarf. So this whole look, including the jeans, feels more vintage. And here we're moving on to preppy style. So here we have Reese Witherspoon and her jean choice, it's a slim straight leg silhouette. It's a medium blue wash, but you'll notice it's very clean. There's clean lines. There's not much going on. There's no rips. There's no distressing. There's no embellishments of any kind. They're just very clean and put together. Again, while these jeans on their own or styled differently could fall into other style types, the reason I put it with the preppy style is how she styled this look. So she's wearing these jeans with a red collared button up shirt and she's buttoned it up all the way and then she's tucked it in all the way as well. So those two things, tucking your shirt all the way in and if wearing a collared shirt definitely feels like put together and preppy. And then she's also matched her shoes, while her shoes on their own would be a classic style, they're a classic pump, but she's matched the color of her shoes to her shirt. And again, preppy style or that preppy idea of you need to match your bag to your shoes or your belt to your shoes, like the same brown or the same tan or the same black, that really does feel and fit more into a preppy style. So for me, this look as a whole definitely fits more into a preppy style type. And here we have another preppy look, and this is from Meghan Markle. So here again, she's wearing a medium or a light to medium dark blue jeans, but her jeans are more of a straight leg, straight leg to a boyfriend. They're a little bit looser, but she has done that roll at the bottom, which for me, I feel like that roll, again, it makes it a little more polished, a little more intentional. It feels more preppy. And the elements that she's brought into this look make the whole look feel preppy. She's wearing this look with ballet flats, and it's a cap toe ballet flat where the front is a black and the rest of the ballet flat is a nude, which feels like a very preppy style ballet flat. And then she's wearing it with a very streamlined tweed collab classic, but also preppy jacket. So while again, this jacket can move across different style types, I feel like the way she styled this jacket here feels preppy. Also the big gold buttons on the jacket feel preppy. They feel very nautical. It feels like that New England, where for me, I really identify with New England and nautical and navy and stripes as well. I feel that goes right along with a preppy style. And here in this next look, we have Vanessa Hudgens. And this look feels like a bohemian style. So the choice of jeans here, Again, they're a medium blue wash, but they're a flare leg. They're super long. They feel very fluid. They feel very earthy, which goes very much with boho style. So here again, not just the style of the jeans, but also how she's put the whole look together. So her choice of top, it's this white kind of fluid. It feels like it's a cotton, but it has fringe. And I feel like fringe is a key element into the boho style. And she's also wearing this with a layered necklaces, but I believe they look at their suede or leather and they're tied and that again those earthy elements those earthy colors and tones and fabrics like suede really bring in the bohemian vibe and here in this next look we have one of the Olsen twins she is wearing this really relaxed super baggy pair of jeans they're slightly distressed and they really look like they could be your boyfriend jeans so I feel like these are a pair of boyfriend jeans. And that's why I put this into the androgynous style. Not only do the jeans seem more baggy, but also if you look at the top, she's wearing, it's a crew neck black t-shirt. There's not much going on. It's extra long, but it feels a little bit different than the oversized style that will seem more in a trendy style type. This look to me feels more menswear inspired than a trendy look. I feel like crew necks, especially when it comes to a t-shirt and a t-shirt that's not fitted, it's just a very kind of boxy silhouette 
silhouette. I feel like that can really read more as menswear or androgynous style. And then she's kind of finished this look with a pair of just simple black flip-flops that really feel unisex. So this look as a whole really feels androgynous to me. And here in this next look, we have Rosie Huntington Whiteley, and this is more of a classic outfit. So the jeans here, they're a medium wash, they're a skinny jean. I'm pretty sure this photo is at least a year old. A classic style jean really is about the wash, so it's that medium to dark blue wash. It's that classic versatile style. But then the silhouette, it's just, it's very simple. So it could be a straight leg, it could be a skinny jean like this one. It could also be a slim leg jean. So it's it's just a very streamlined silhouette. The lines are straight, doesn't really have rips. It's not super baggy. And then also the way this outfit is styled. Now, while she definitely could have worn this look more casually, if she paired it with chic sneakers instead of a pair of heels and an elevated white t-shirt, for example, this look is definitely more of a dressier way that a classic style might wear a pair of jeans. So she has styled it here with a pair of heels and then she's wearing a silk blouse. And while the blouse is tucked in and we do tend to see that a lot in a preppy style type, but I think a classic style resonates more with a silk fabric over maybe more of a stiffer poplin cotton like someone with a preppy style would. So even though this blouse is tucked in, the fabric choice is different than someone with a preppy style. It's also not buttoned up. It's more of a blouse style than a button up shirt. So those, again, it's very subtle elements that will make this more of a classic style. And then her choice of handbag, it's a very classic bag. This bag could be 10 years old. This bag could have been bought from the store today. It's very classic, it's streamlined, there's not much going on, and it just really completes this whole classic look. And here we have Hailey Bieber, and here this look is a trendy style type. So I wanna start with the jeans since this video is mostly about the jeans and what makes jeans fit into different style types. But if you look at these jeans, they're that medium to dark blue wash that again is super versatile and is the wash that I recommend for a capsule jean. Here these jeans are slightly a wide leg but they're more of a straight wide leg which is a more on trend silhouette for jeans but also they're pleated in the front. And pleats are really on trend right now and they have been for a little while. So a pleated jean that's in this straight wide leg silhouette, I think really feels on trend. And then look at the whole outfit together, how she styled it. So her top is cropped, which like we talked about earlier, cropped is definitely again something that's on trend. She is wearing a belt with this look. And while typically a belt would fit more into a preppy style, it would be more of a streamlined belt. The buckle wouldn't be exaggerated. It also wouldn't be a logo like we saw earlier with Kendall Jenner. A preppy belt is pretty simple and just very polished. This belt feels like a statement on its own. So the jeans are a statement, the belt is a statement, and then you have the coat, which is also a statement. It's this oversized coat. And then she's wearing a chunky sneaker to complete the look. So the whole look together feels feels like it's really on trend. And here we have Nikki Hilton, and she is in a romantic style outfit. So we'll start with the jeans. So her jeans are a light blue wash, and they're again, they're that skinny. There is a little bit of distressing at the bottom, but she has rolled it up. So they still look really soft. So again, while these jeans, I definitely feel can fit into a minimal style type. They can possibly even fit into an edgy style type. It's the way she's put this whole look together. So she's wearing a lot of pink, which is that feminine, romantic color. And sometimes it's as simple as a color choice that will define what kind of personal style something is. So she's wearing this little jacket that again, I think it's a tweed or a knit, which on its own, if it was a navy, would fit into a preppy style. Because it's this pink color, it definitely feels more of that feminine, romantic style type. And it looks like the top she's wearing underneath maybe has a floral print, it looks soft, but it doesn't look undone. But even though the top isn't tucked in, it feels soft. Very different than what we saw with one of the Olsen twins with the black t-shirt that was long and untucked, but it felt very boxy. This feels very soft and feminine. And then she has a pink bag to go with this look, and then she's finished this look with a pair of pink ballet flats. So again, ballet flats on their own, or if they were in a camel or a navy color, maybe they would go more into a preppy style. But because her ballet flats are pink, and because the outfit together has a lot of feminine qualities, I've put this into a romantic style type. If you're not sure what capsule wardrobe essentials you need to complete your closet and to make getting dressed effortless and easy, you can grab my free PDF that I created. And this is its general checklist of the items that I think is beneficial for most women to have. So this checklist I made 
from working with hundreds of women over the last 16 years to figure out what are the missing pieces? What are those items that are preventing women from getting dressed easily and feeling great, confident, and put together? And again, what I want you to do is tweak those items for you. So what does your jean look like? What silhouette is your jean? What wash is your jean? Does it have distressing? Starting to pay attention to the details and the elements of the things that you love about pieces will not only help you find pieces that you actually enjoy wearing and you'll end up wearing more of your closet, but it'll also help you feel authentic to your personal style. So make sure to subscribe to the series so you don't miss the next few episodes featuring other capsule essentials and how they're styled by the different personal style types. So hope you all have a great week and I'll see you soon.